Hey everybody, it's Tara Mintz with the Leaf Pack Network and in this video we're going to go over how to collect those packs from the stream. So hopefully three to four weeks ago you placed those packs and they're still there. So today we're going to retrieve them and look at what colonized the packs over time. So what do you need? First, get out that handy dandy manual and refer to chapter two which outlines all the steps and all the supplies that you're going to need. So what do you need? First get out that field data sheet, okay, which has all your placement data. It also has that nice site map that you drew that shows the exact location of your packs. Then get out the thermometer that you use, the same one, whether you use the one from the kit or your own. Then you're going to need some scissors, okay, to cut those packs loose. And then what are we physically going to collect the packs in, okay? Well, you can use the plastic bags that come with the kit. These are just perfect. You'll put the packs in there along with some creek water and make sure you use the Sharpie to label which pack that was or packs plural, okay? Then we can look at buckets. You can also use different kinds of buckets. Different sizes are fine. Um, we just make sure that we label our bucket that this is for macroinvertebrates only because we also do stream chemistry stuff and we don't want to have any residual chemicals in the actual bucket that might harm the macroinvertebrates. If you're gonna be collecting the macroinvertebrates and kind of holding them for a longer period of time, say longer than three hours or so, you're gonna want some kind of bucket that can actually have an air bubbler attached to it and that you can put in an ice pack. This is to keep the macroinvertebrates happy and healthy. They need lots of oxygen and cooler temperatures help with that, as well as the bubbler. So they make these nice insulated buckets that you can get, like a bait bucket, and they usually come with some battery-powered um, bubbler that you can put in there. And so we use those, and then we put an ice pack in the water to keep it cool, and that usually is a successful combination for macroinvertebrate happiness. <laughs> Last but not least, you're gonna need your sieve. And this comes with the kit. And its purpose is to collect those leaf packs while they're in the river, you go underneath them, and that helps you make sure you collect everything that was in the pack. All those macroinvertebrates from the tiniest to the largest, okay? And then to rinse out this sieve into your bucket or your plastic bag, you're gonna need something like a cup, or we use these measuring cups ourselves to pour creek water over them, okay, so that we get and rinse everything off, all the macroinvertebrates. So that's about it, okay? Again, check that list in the manual, and let's grab our boots and head to the creek. The leaf packs will be collected starting with the pack farthest downstream and working upstream. Complete the remaining information on the field data sheet. And just note that all macroinvertebrates will be returned to the stream live after collecting, sorting, and counting. Refer to your site map to identify the location of each leaf pack. Collect additional stream water in a bucket so that it can be used during macroinvertebrate sorting and put enough stream water in the bottom to make sure it'll cover entirely the leaf packs. When retrieving leaf packs from the stream, gently hold onto the submerged leaf pack with one hand and then cut the twine securing the leaf pack to the rock or block and immediately hold the sieve in the water with the other hand just below the packs as if to catch it. So quickly and gently pick up the leaf pack with the sieve. And then place the leaf pack in the zipper top bag or bucket. So you see there are probably some macroinvertebrates still on the sieve. So now rinse the sieve off into the bag or bucket. And work quickly because some of the insects are very fast and will try to escape. So repeat all these steps with the remaining leaf packs. And as an alternative to the zipper top bags, you can just use a regular good old fashioned bucket. So if immediate processing is not possible, most aquatic insects will survive in leaf packs that are kept in coolers with ice or refrigerated overnight. But check out chapter two with some tips on how to maintain the macroinvertebrates if you're holding them for a longer um, duration. So check out our next video on processing the leaf packs.